Hello, Ice Hawks fans. Welcome back to Ice Hawks TV. Joseph Zakshevsky with you, and I am thrilled to be joined by a special guest today. Uh, joining us, one of the newest members of your Rockford Ice Hawks going into next season. Just last week, we announced that he signed a two-year AHL deal. DJ, first and foremost, thank you so much for joining us. And how are you holding up? I know uh, normally you get to celebrate with your family and friends when you sign your first professional <laughs> contract and get to, you know, really live it up this summer and prepare for your first pro season. But I feel like, given the current situation, it's a little different. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, no, I'm doing uh, doing so pretty well. Um, you know, fortunate, uh, you know, right now with everything that's going on to be, you know, safe and healthy at home, uh, just trying to find different ways to stay busy. And, you know, we had a little bit of a celebration there. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of nice uh, calls and texts from friends and family. So, um, you know, still found ways to celebrate. And it's been awesome. And what has the last couple of days been like for you? When I look at the Twitter feed, the Facebook feed, a lot of great feedback from whether it was fans from your time in your junior days with Saginaw to your general manager sent out a nice little tweet as well complimenting you. So, I mean, what, what has it been like, the, the flood of emotions and thought processes, maybe even somebody sending you a tip here and there uh, as you prepare for now your first pro season? Yeah, no, it's it's been fantastic. You know, everyone who's, um, you know, reached out has been so supportive and so, uh, you know, just, just very kind. and. Um, you know, I just look at the tweets from the different people who I, you know, worked with in, in my time in Saginaw. And it's, uh, you know, it, it brings me a lot of joy. Obviously, it was a little bit of a sour way we ended the season. So, um, you know, for me, that's just, uh, it helps, you know, kind of ease what happened at the end of last season a little bit. And, uh, you know, makes me feel good about, uh, you know, what I what I accomplished with, with my team in Saginaw at that time. We're wrapping up a four-year junior career with Saginaw in the Ontario Hockey League. 146 points, 54 goals, or 235 games. Served as an alternate captain as well. We'll get to that in just a minute. But last season was a career year for you. You had 57 points, 22 goals through 62 games before the season unfortunately came to a close. How important is it for you to end on such a high note like that with, with career highs and point production now moving into a professional campaign? Oh, it was fantastic. I, I think overall the year um, was great. Um, kind of bounced back and forth between forward and defenseman, and towards the end of the year started to find uh, find some good rhythm at, on offense, and it's been fantastic. So um, it was it was really important for myself last year to get out to a strong start to the season and just be consistent all the way through. Um, I wanted to take that step in my game um, and really find that solid consistency night in, night out. And, uh, you know, I think I did a really good job of doing that. Let's dive. That was one of the things that intrigued me the most when reading up about you and learning about you is that you had to move between forward and defense a few times just because of, of a shorthanded roster and scenarios being what they were with Saginaw. How do you feel about that moving into your pro campaign where it seems it's a little bit more locked down you don't have as many rover positions? And I saw that you, pref you said you preferred defense well last February when you we were talking to a reporter, but now moving into the pro campaign, the points that you put up, is defense still where you want to be or are you maybe looking to crack a forward spot? Well, I'll always say the same thing. Wherever they need me is fine, but no, I mean, I I don't think I really prefer one of the other, one over the other. Um, you know, I've been playing forward my whole life. I just jumped kind of back and forth between D these last two years, um, and that's only when they needed me. So I think I'm definitely more comfortable as a forward. Um, you know, uh, I, hopefully, I believe that's where I'll be playing um, next year, um, and it should be should be good. And you know, if if there ever is an opportunity where they do need me, or someone goes down, or we, you know, I'd be I'd be more than happy to to jump back and um, you know fill a role, whatever we need. So. Well, the good news is, and you said it in one of your interviews too, uh, you work as a five-man unit out there on the ice. Well, if I could count all the times in just a single period, the Ice Hawks had a defenseman below the goal line, a forward playing a point position. I mean, I think you're going to be in pretty good hands there. So I think it cuts out for you uh, pretty nicely, actually. And then you talked about you're, you're uh, now going into leadership position. You were an alternate captain these last couple of years. Ice Hawks and the Blackhawks, they pride themselves on a, an, a complete locker room leadership, not just one or two guys taking over the reins. How do you feel like that can ease you into a scenario where, uh, you know, everybody kind of counts on everyone to, to lead the way? Um, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, going to juniors, I had some very good leaders. Um, Keaton Middleton, he's now with the San Jose Barracuda. Um, and I learned a lot from him um, about how to, you know, be a pro and, you know, act the right way in the room. And I think that really just kind of rubbed off on me the right way. And, um, you know, for myself, I pride myself in being a team first guy. And, um, you know, I think I can can come into the room and, and just be a, a a good part of the room. You know, I don't I'm not trying to cause any distractions or anything like that. I just want to be a part of the team and, and win. And, um, you know, I think uh, that that's something uh, that I a strength that I bring to a team. 
Well, now, how is your training off the ice being the summer as it is now and getting ready for whether the season picks back up or, or if we have to prepare for another year? How has that affected your preparation when uh, normally this is an anxious time? You want to get to the gym, you want to get out on the ice and get ready and go, go, go. Can't necessarily do that. How have you been able to maybe prepare at home or mentally prepare uh, heading into a new, a new year, a new life for you in, in the pro hockey ranks? Yeah, no, just like you said, I've been itching to get back on the ice and get back to the to the gym with my trainer. But uh, fortunately, he's been sending me some workouts. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sticking to my regimen um, as best as I can. Obviously, I don't have a full gym in my basement, but um, we have some weights down there and different things where, um, you know, he's sending me different workouts and do one a day and, um, you know, just try to do my best to stay in shape that way when, you know, the rinks and the gyms do open that way. I'm, you know, I'm not falling too far behind and I can just, you know, get on with my summer training and, um, you know, start really preparing for, you know, my first pro season. All right. Well, greatly appreciated DJ. And now I got a couple of quick hit questions. Fans love to get to know you and, and get to know more about you before you hit, whether join the Ice Sox the rest of this year or, or uh, you know, get that feel or get ready for next season. So let's go ahead and start with that. Let's start with the on the ice stuff. Biggest attributes you feel like you bring to the game. If we were to watch DJ Busker play right now, what's probably the most noticeable thing we will see about how you play hockey. Uh, my, my competitiveness and like my work ethic, I think, um, you know, I'm not a guy who quits on pox. I'm not, I think, uh, you know, I, I kind of have a, a really go, go, go type mentality. I bring a lot of energy, a lot of pop, a lot of juice. And, um, you know, I really pride myself in bringing that each and every day, you know, whether it's practice or a game. So, um, you know, I think that's probably the, the most noticeable thing about myself. And on the other side of the equation, what do you feel like you need to work on the most to make an impact and, and keep a, a nice roster spot for you? Um, obviously I'm not the biggest guy in the world, 5'10". Um, I think getting in the gym and getting bigger, getting stronger, getting faster, um, you know, obviously it's, it's a big jump, jumping to the pro level. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's going to be a really big summer and it's going to be really fundamental that, you know, I work on, uh, you know, just, just getting a lot bigger, a lot stronger in the gym and, um, you know, finding a way to, to crack that lineup and stay there. Off the ice, what's life been like for you? Are you a big NHL gamer guy? Are you a Netflix Tiger King guy? What What have you been diving into to to maybe break up the routine a little bit and take a little downtime? Oh, I've been uh, really crushing uh, the the Last Dance, the the new Bulls documentary um, on Netflix. That's been unbelievable. Um, I'm kind of enjoy like just learning about sports history and different things. So that's kind of kind of a sports junkie in that in that regard. Um, and then also, you know, probably a big gamer guy for sure. Um, that's, I've been playing with some of my buddies from back home and some of the Saginaw boys. So that's been pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I just keep myself occupied no matter, no matter what it is. So it's been good. Now you're a Michigan native. So, uh, I think I might've answered the question right there as we move into bears, Packers, Vikings territory, you a Detroit <laughs> lions fan. Are you going to try and uh, stir the pot a little bit here in the Midwest <laughs> or, or where do you sit in terms of your fandom and who are your favorite teams growing up as a kid? Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm Detroit, everything probably besides uh, baseball. I, it's it's going to be even worse than being a Tigers fan. I do like the the New York Yankees. My grandpa was a big Yankees fan, so I don't know how that uh, rubs Chicago people. But uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, Lions, Red Wings, um, and Pistons for sure. So all Detroit guys. Well, I'm sure if we make our way back to Grand Rapids, Michigan, and take on the Griffins, it'll be a nice little homecoming to take on the uh, AHL affiliate of uh, your favorite hockey team growing up as a kid, for sure. Absolutely. Well, now, uh, off the ice, I mean, again, off the ice, who's probably your biggest impact and who made the biggest impact for you to, to play hockey in Michigan and uh, and lead you down that path? Um, I think definitely my dad. Um, you know, he, he, play, he grew up playing hockey. Um, you know, he didn't play you know professionally by any means or anything but um you know his, his I kind of learned from his work ethic and everything that he does on a day-to-day -day basis with his job and different things and um you know he taught me how to play hockey I was born in Ohio so um you know he would take me to the Bowling Green rink and we he taught me how to skate and um different things like that so um you know he's my biggest fan and my biggest supporter and um you know obviously back in the day he wouldn't be shy to he's my coach wouldn't be wouldn't be shy to voice his opinion about how I was playing or whatnot but um, you know, nowadays he's just, you know, one of my biggest support valves and, um, you know, can't thank him for everything he's done for me. And then lastly, it's your turn to lead the pregame warm up and select the playlist going out on the ice. What music do you play? Mm. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a good one. That's, that's a good question. Um, you know, I'm, I'm probably a, like a, before games, I, I, I like rap, um, you know, different, uh, you know, whether it's the baby or, um, 
you know, different guys like that. But, um, yeah, probably, probably going with uh, some, some rap for sure. Well, DJ, I cannot thank you enough for joining us today on Ice Sox TV and then letting us get to know you a little bit more. And, and tip of the cap, too, uh, I know you're at home and uh, with your mom, and you mentioned your mom's a nurse. During these unprecedented times, a uh, special thank you to her and all that she does, too. Uh, I know it's, uh, it's definitely unique, but uh, we look forward to seeing you at the rink, seeing you at the BMO, and uh, hopefully playing hockey here pretty soon, pal. Absolutely. Thank you very much.